also know that it's spring break time for a lot of people, but believe it or not, it's also time to start thinking about booking those summer camps because time flies, parents. And let me just say that these are not your typical camps. These are much cooler and they're also right here in Colorado. Well, trend expert Heather Smith from the hot bar joins us with more. Heather, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. You're right. It is the time to book camps. Yes. Some are starting to fill up, but some are so exciting to get the kids jazzed. What's you need to Colorado. That's right. And you're so true. I, I mean, I mean, there's been many times when I want to get my girls into a certain camp and it's sold out yeah. and I'm like, <laughs> okay, so tell me about the camps that are available. I will. We have the whole rundown. So okay. Woodward Copper is the only on snow camp. Oh, June through August. There's 10 different weeks, so you have options. Uh -huh. Kids can be 7 to 17 and they have this on mountain terrain summer park. The only one of kind of its kind. So you've got the jibs, the jumps, that the is rails. awesome. Yep, there's a little lift for them too and visiting pro skiers and riders come like Zeb Pal or Red Gerard. Mm -hmm. And these copper campers can also exclusively access the copper Woodward barn and so okay. see that huge indoor training facility there's six Olympic flybed trampolines those are roller skis they have roller snowboards so the kids <laughs> go down they practice they go into the foam pit I love then this. they take those tricks out onto the snow in the summer and they also do other fun camping stuff so exactly there's it, the zip line there's tie-dye there's oh, how sports. fun and they continue with those snow activities throughout the summer which yes. is really cool and oh my gosh the roller Roller skis. I, I've been talking about those for Aren't quite some time. So cool? Yes. Well, then we've got the water lovers. In my case, the older one loves anything to do with water. Tell me about what happens on the Platte River. So, wait till you hear about this. This is through the Chill Foundation. Okay. And it is the river surfing program. And what's so unique is that the mission of Chill is to inspire youth through board sports to build a more equitable outdoor community. So that means access training, equipment, and inclusion of board sports in the board sporting community for those mm -hmm. who might not otherwise have access. Okay. So they partner with the Colorado River School and also agencies like the little, like the Boys and Girls Club. Yes. Or I Have a Dream or some high schools to really engage kids throughout the summer. They provide all the gear and services necessary at no cost. I think that's wonderful. I, not a lot of kids have the opportunity to wakeboard, to water yeah. ski. I did it until I was an adult and I loved it. So what a great thing to do it as well. Is. And it's been going on since 1995. The founders of Burton Snowboards, Jake and Donna Carpenter, uh -huh. founded it and they're really inspiring progression on and off the board and having fun. And was that surfing that it they were doing? Oh my goodness. River. When would you think you're going to surf in Colorado? Exactly. Right? And so <laughs> I love anyone, this. Any age can get mm -hmm. involved and help support chill. So just go to chill.org and that's another great summer program for other kids to support. It really is chill.org. Look into that for sure. Okay, skateboarding yes. is a big thing here in Colorado as well. There is a camp for them too. There is for any kid. It's called Square State Skate. Oh, and wow. they're so fun. They're all up and down the front range. They've got full day skate camps. Mm -hmm. They've got half day camps that stay at one skate park. You can do lessons or private lessons and they either meet at the Boulder or Denver Square House, which is a warehouse that, you know, all the campers come to or they even meet at skate parks. So you've got them meeting at Arvada or Lions, Lafayette, Louisville and overnight skate camps. They oh, take kids. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, it is. They take them to Lewis, or they take them out to Gunnison, Salida, Steamboat Springs, mm -hmm. even Frisco. So they're making s'mores too, but they're camping. Yeah. And they're educators. The campers and the counselors really come together for that social and emotional growth. Of course, they're learning the tricks too. Of course. But Square State Skate is really all about the kids. Yes, yeah, Square State Skate is yes. that the one to it look is. into. Okay, kiddos in the Denver area, who can sign up for these camps? What's the best way that parents can jump on and sign up? Definitely check out the different websites. Okay. I'll list them all over at thehotbar.com. Uh -huh. But whether it's, you know, Copper or getting involved with the Chill Foundation or Square State Skate, they're easy to find. They're right here local in the front range. 
and they're really ready for your kids this summer. I love this. And, and parents, it's all about getting in there and getting it done on time. The hot bar is a great resource for you as well. Well, all three sound like a ton of fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Heather, thank you so much for bringing this Thanks on the show me. today. Okay, here is some info on how to jump on some of these camps. All you need to do is go to the website. It's the hotbar.com and you can find all the info on some of those camps there.